Hey guys, it's me, Sloan, and um, today I want to talk a little bit about jealousy. I think jealousy is a ridiculous feeling because we allow ourselves in that moment to become a little ridiculous, thinking that we are coming short of goals or that we're not as good as other people. I think it's insane. On the same note, I think that it's insane for a parent to choose a favorite child out of their children because each child is so uniquely different that you love them in different ways. It's not that you love one more or you love the other less because of shortcomings. At least that's not how I feel about it. So on that note, when my children were younger, very young, I used to have this ashtray, a wooden ashtray in the shape of a skull. And whenever my children would start arguing about who was my favorite or who I loved more, I would pick up my skull and say, oh, Timmy, everyone knows you're my favorite child because I'm evil. I'm wicked. My children actually grew to be very jealous of Timmy because any time uh, they'd come into my room and they'd talk about something, and then they talk over me or talk to each other so loudly and I can't make my point. I turn to Timmy and I finish my conversation with him. So my children began to notice this because it's strange behavior. It is. But I did it on purpose to show them that, you know, one, you could listen to me. And two, um, well, I can finish my thoughts even though they're talking over me. But they noticed that I was showing so much attention to Timmy that they started picking him up and throwing him across the room whenever they'd walk into my bedroom. Or they would threaten him or they would, like, cover him up or whatever. It was a very jealous thing. Like, they were all seriously jealous of this wooden skull ashtray. So... <clears throat> Last week, while I was running through the family dollar trying to get a couple of things for the house, because it's right around the corner, um, I saw, well, this guy. He's my new favorite child. I've named him Tommy to remind me of Timmy, since Timmy moved to my sister's house in New Jersey, and I've never seen him again. So now... I have my Tommy, and I'm a very, very happy mommy. I'm pretty sure my kids are going to start throwing him around too, but this one is plastic, and the other is wood, so this one will just kind of bounce around. But I love him. He's the sweetest, and I do. I sit here and have conversations with him whenever I'm, uh, I'm alone. I'll turn around and be like, oh, my God, this idea is great for a video. So he's proud to be here with you guys today, Tommy. Tommy, the people, people, Tommy, and um, yeah, so now I'm expecting that whenever my children do show up, that they're going to abuse him the way that they once abused my Timmy. On that note, I'll let you guys go back to your normal spook spooktober nonsense, and I'll see you later.